Hey everyone, Joe here. In today's OBS tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create your own amazing looking audio visualizers. But before we get started, check out this awesome product from A Shampoo. A Shampoo Win Optimizer 18 is a system optimization suite that takes care of the weak spots in every Windows machine. The program boosts performance, fixes system errors, and reduces file clutter. Don't miss my demo review of Win Optimizer 18. Plus, learn more and download your free trial by clicking the links in the description below. Okay, welcome back, everybody. Now, before we get uh, started into this, I noticed the last version of OBS when I updated mine, it didn't have the audio visualizer installed. So if you go down to your sources and click the little plus sign and you don't see audio visualizer listed, then it probably isn't installed. So it's no big deal. You can still go over to OBS's uh, website. I have the link down in the description below to you actually go down and download the audio visualizer. It's called Spectralizer, even though it's listed as audio visualizer in OBS. So it's real easy to download and install. You just quickly drag and drop the plugins over back into OBS. I don't know why they removed it or if it's just my, my system, but it sure wasn't in there when I want to make this tutorial for you guys the other day. So. That's the first thing you gotta do if you don't already have it in there. The second is we're gonna need a program called Snip. Now, before I get to uh, going to, uh, too deep in this, version, uh, the latest version of Snip does not support anything but iTunes and Spotify. I don't know why the author decided to do that. So you'll have to go back to older version of uh, you know Snip. If, like for example, for me, I use VLC. So I'm using the last version that supported VLC, uh, which is version 6.10.2. I have that also linked down in the description below, so you can download and install that. It's actually, you don't even have to install it. It's a program, just drag and drop it to a folder that you use all the time, like your documents folder that you won't delete it, <laughs> because it's gonna actually use that program. Uh, you can just run it out of that folder, and it's gonna leave a little text file in there, but we're gonna have to need to pull up the text and the song titles and stuff for our OBS tutorial here. And one more thing, also down in the description below, <laughs> you can get some graphics that I've made for OBS for the audio visualizer. So yeah, the really nice little graphics, just a little quick download off my Google Drive. Get those before we get started into this tutorial. And once you get those uh, downloaded and get those other two installed, well then we can go ahead and uh, start the rest of this tutorial. So once you've did that, let's then hop over to uh, OBS here. Okay, everybody, here we are in OBS. Now, over here is my sources. Uh, yours may be in a different location. I just have this set up this way for this tutorial with my scenes on this side and my sources on this side. Okay, now I have VLC running here with my low fi music that I got off Epidemic Sound. And if you go over here to audio, my audio track is, my audio device excuse me, is set to cable C. VB Audio Cable C. I'll do a tutorial on that later on, yeah, but just whatever you make sure you have your set to, because that's the channel we're going to need. So the audio device that I'm using is Cable C there. Okay, let me minimize this. Okay. Now we want to add that. So I'm going to go up here and go to Audio Output Capture. Click on that. And let's just click OK there. And we want to find cable C. So once we get cable C right there, click OK. And now we have audio output capture right here listed, and that's the one we want to use. OK. So let's go ahead and first, let's grab those graphics I mentioned to you a while ago. And uh, we want to go up here. And we want to grab our image. And let's go to first one, call this one the background. Okay. Now you can name these anything you want to. Just for this tutorial to keep things short, I'm naming it background. And cool browse. And here's my music player graphics folder. And it had the graphics. Let's like download these. Grab the one that says music player background. Okay. And let it drop it in there. Wonderful. Let's grab our other one, our next image. And let's call this one foreground. Okay. And let's grab the other one here, the foreground, which is kind of the reflection on top. Wonderful. All 
Alrighty. So let's grab both of these right quick and kind of drag them out here to the middle. And then let's make them a little bit bigger. Let's pull one of them out to about right here and then let's grab the other one. And kind of line them up just right. Boom. And I think for this tutorial, that'll be fine. Let's just lock all three of those down right quick. And that's fine and dandy. Okay. So let's click on plus again and let's add our audio visualizer. Remember, if it isn't listed right here, on right up under audio output capture, then you didn't uh, need to download the plugin and install it. So let's click on audio visualizer and let's just leave it as audio visualizer. Wonderful. Now audio source, we want to click audio output capture, which is the one that we had going right here. As we see, it's now playing it. Wonderful. Now, filter here, we want to choose Monster Cat because it just looks much nicer. Totally up to you, though. The color here, I'm going to choose this bright yellow because it just makes things easier to see here. Okay. The detail I'm going to leave set to 32. The bar width here. Now, I'm going to choose 12, and I'm going to highly recommend you choose a wide uh, number here because you want that bars to be as wide as possible The more narrow they are they may look great on your screen, but the time they get streamed up to YouTube or twitch uh, Very fast moving stuff that are very small is gonna look very garbled and very pixelated So I recommend using at least a 12 and a bar spacing of like six And I'm gonna choose a bar height of 170 here because that's for the aspect ratio of this uh, graphic that I'm using. Once we get done, let's grab that one. And let's pull it over here in the corner and just kind of widen it out till we get it about in the right where we want it. And I think that there will probably work. We can use our little arrow keys to kind of move it around if we want to. And I think that'll look pretty decent right there. Let's lock it down and look at it. Yeah, that works wonderful, looks great. Now let's drag the audio visualizer down between the foreground and background because we want the reflection of the graphic on top to kind of give it that glass look. So that's wonderful. Now let's right click on audio visualizer and go to filters. And we want to click on image, mask, and blend. Click that one. Okay, add that one right quick. Now choose the type. We want to go to alpha mask, alpha channel choose that one then we click on path and we'll go back to that folder now in this folder you'll notice i have two graphics listed here audio visualizer luma mask big corner and audio visualizer stereo luma mask for this particular one i'm just going to choose uh the regular luma mask for the regular all in one to get a nice up and down visualizer however the other one is included if you want to make a nice little stereo looking graphic okay so i'm going to choose that one and we want to choose stretch the image to make it look right. Okay. Once we got done, close that. And we'll notice we have a cool looking little 1980s, 1990s <laughs> visualizer graphic going on here. And that's looking pretty decent. Okay. Now we want to go ahead and add our text GDI. Okay. Click on that one. And let's go ahead and add that one. And I want to choose a 96 for my font size here. Just leave it on Arial. You can change anything you want. That 96 is a good one to start with. And I want to choose read from file. And before we get going any further, if you haven't already started up SNP, now's the time. You want to go down and right click on SNP and make sure VLC or whatever you're using is chosen. So if you're on Spotify, choose Spotify. If you're on VLC, choose VLC, which is what I'm using. iTunes, WinApp, etc. Fubar. You get the idea here. You'll notice it says new version available. Ignore it if you're using version 6.10.2 like I am because it said version 7.0 and higher. The author removed support for anything else other than iTunes and Spotify because I guess he's a butthole. I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to leave mine shows as VLC. Choose whatever you're using. And that should automatically start writing that text file. Okay. Now we want to go to browse. And we want to go to the directory where you uh, just ran uh, SNP from. So which in my uh, case is under content creation, SNP version 6.10.2. Click on the folder SNP. And there's that text file I was talking about. Click on that. 
great. Now we already got it pulling up some uh, text here. Wonderful. All right. And what's going to happen is every time VLC changes a song, uh, SNP's going to actually re-update that text file with the latest uh, song uh, title information. Wonderful. Okay, we want to use custom text extents here because you'll probably notice it's already cut off a little bit. And let's click that. And the width, I am going to choose a very big number here of 4,000. And that's to give me any kind of like uh, space should the title be very, very long. If the title is very, very long, it can get garbled up if it's not long enough here and when it tries to scroll. So I recommend you use a wide one here. I'm choosing 4,000 for the tutorial. You may have to make it bigger if you get really long tutorials. 4,000 normally works pretty decent though. And let's click OK. And let's drag this down over here to the top somewhere. You can make this bigger if you need to. Say so about like this right here. And that actually looks pretty decent for this tutorial anyway. All right. We want to grab that one and put it right up under the foreground so it looks like it's behind our pretend glass. <laughs> and once we get that done, you'll notice it's really sticking out way off the side of the screen here. That's no problem. Let's go right click on text GDI plus and go to filters. Okay. We want to add our first filter, which is our scroll. Okay. Click on that one. And the speeds I use for horizontal here, I'm going to choose 30. 60 also works pretty good, but I like to keep uh, something that's divisible about 60 since I'm normally streaming at 60 frames per second. So it's either 30 or 60 or, you know, something faster than that. So I'm going to choose 30 for this one because I think 30 looks pretty decent. As you can see, that's already starting to scroll around here and it'll start coming back way over on the side here in a minute. All right. But we got that way stuck off over there and maybe we, as you can see, it just changed the text here. Let's start up a new song. Okay. Maybe we don't want that to be as wide. We go to filters and we can add another one called crop and pad. Okay. Click on that one. And let me make this smaller so you can see what's going on here. And you can see the text already coming over here, although it's hidden at the moment. No big deal. I want to choose right. And I'm going to try something like 2000. See what it looks like. And 2000 wasn't long, uh, wasn't long enough. Let's try something like 2200. And that's getting a little bit closer. Let's try something like 2400. Oh, we're getting there close. Let's side see what 2500 looks like. Okay, getting closer. Let's try 2600. Whoa, almost there, almost there. Let's try 2650. And that's gonna look close enough for this tutorial. Okay, so now let's close that and just center it up wherever you want it. I think it looks pretty decent right there and lock it down. And when the text eventually gets around here, it will actually show it for just to give us a few minutes here. And let's take a look at it. And as you can see, the text is now starting to scroll over. Like it says epidemic sound. Who we got going here? This is, who is it? Golden. Yeah, something golden somebody. <laughs> yeah, golden hours. Okay. So yeah, you can make that go faster if you want to. You can just click on text GI, go to filters, go back here to scroll. You can choose something like, I don't know, 120, which is insanely too fast. But if you want it to go that fa uh, fast, if you want to, you can. So anyway, let's just close that one. And that's basically about it. Uh, so... Anyway, I know this is probably a pretty big tutorial for most folks. It already at 14 minutes long or about. But anyway, I think it uh, makes really nice little uh, music player graphics. So if you want some in your stream, uh, like I said, I'll give you a few extra graphics and stuff to kind of get you started here. Give you an idea of what you can work uh, on to actually create them, make your own. Kind of just give, basically give you ideas. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed this OBS tutorial. And if you want to see more uh, tutorials like this, please give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up so is highly appreciated. Now, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please take the time to subscribe. Subscribing's free, it's for you, and lets you know when I release more videos. So until next time, everyone, thank you for watching.